I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, I want to show you guys a little something here. So this computer, you may have seen it in the recent video where I uh, where I cleaned it up because it was so dang filthy. Uh, this is this is my aunt's computer. I'm getting ready to do some work on it. Um, I'm actually going to be replacing the the motherboard, CPU, power supply, and hard drive that good stuff with some other hand me down stuff just to make this thing a little bit a little bit faster and a little more reliable. Um, so this thing it went it went into service I think 2012 or so and at that time all the caps on the motherboard were fine they weren't any I don't think there's any bulge ones and here it is 2021 this system quit working I think the power supply is the reason why there's some failed caps in that power supply but uh if we look at this motherboard I want to show you guys something here just look it over carefully This motherboard, um, the majority of the capacitors on it are from two different brands. We've got Panasonic or Masashita, and we've got Chemicon. Now, Chemicon is a pretty decent brand. I think they're made in Japan. Most of them are, but they had a bad series called KZG. And you will, you will commonly find them installed on motherboards. And I don't think new motherboards have them. You'll find... I'd say you'll find these caps on motherboards from probably around 2002 to 2007, 2008, that time period. This board, I believe, from, was probably from 2005, 2006, maybe. It's a socket AM2. Uh, NVIDIA G4 6100. And uh, Enforce 430 Southbridge setup. And you see, or you may see all the uh, all the Panasonic caps. They're fine. No bulge tops on them. All oh, throughout this whole thing. But when you look at these, uh, you look at these Kimi Khan KZGs. Almost every one is blown. It's ridiculous. I mean, that one really, that one really puked its guts big time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, countless times over the years, I've that I've uh, serviced computers, I've those Kimikon KZGs, they're 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 notorious for going bad. And sometimes what you'll have is just some instability, but other times you'll have complete failure or just the component will stop working altogether. For example, with a motherboard you may it may the uh it may be so bad that either the capacitor shorts or the capacitor doesn't do its job at all, so you have Unfiltered DC boards going to a component, which causes a, uh, which could cause it to be so unstable it won't even it won't even run right. So you could get probably get a no post scenario from that at the worst. But uh, but yeah, <laughs> I've encountered these I've encountered stuff like this so often. And used to be what I would do in cases like that is I would I would change out the uh, the KZGs for something else now. Other series like let's say KZE, they're they're better. I don't usually see any problems with them. It's really just KZGs. And these things, you you subject them to heat, they'll puke their guts out like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> and the same can be said for some Rubicon caps too. And you know, Rubicon is a uh, yeah, I, I I would say Rubicon is a, a pretty decent brand out of Japan. But uh, some systems, especially Dells. <laughs> Especially the small form factor Dells and some of the uh, the uh, the Dells that had Pentium fours and Pentium Ds that uh, exhausted their CPU um, heat into the rest of the system. Yeah, those would those would the, the caps on those would fail often too. KZ KZGs and also some Rubicon caps. I did a video um, sometime in 2020 um, of a Dell system that came out of service. It was ran for quite some time and a hot shop environment and of course that cooked the capacitors on the motherboard and some of the power supply too it was a power supply uh, recapped with um, um, harvested motherboard caps a long time ago now this power supply here I serviced it back in 2012 or whenever 
whenever it was that I uh, that I did this little build here, of course this motherboard came out of an HP or compact, as you may see it's sitting inside of an E-Machines tower. So if you look at this power supply here, uh, you may be able to see that I uh, I've recapped it and, and used um, <clears throat> kind of a high 57 mixture of caps, uh, mostly motherboard caps, that's what I had at the time. And the ones on the secondary side, they're all looking just fine. No bulge tops, nothing like that. But over here on the 5 volt standby, uh, things ain't looking so good. <laughs> that Rubicon cap there is just puking its guts. And this little blue Leland Radio Shack capacitor, it says bulging too. Yeah, these uh, these Best Tech 250-12Z units, uh, that capacitor right next to the... Uh, the secondary heat sink, uh, which is a, uh, it's a 22 microfarad. Um, that one there is actually a 6.3 volt cap. The original was a 10 volt, but it's a 5 volt circuit. And up here, that uh, I think it's a 220 microfarad, 35 volt cap. Those two tend to go bad in these things, and well, sometimes depending on the revision, you may have crappy capacitors over the secondary. But usually, what will bring these units to a, to their knees is that capacitor right there, the one right next to the heatsink, and also sometimes this other cap over here. So I'll be doing a separate video on that. I'll I'll crack this unit open in a later video, but tonight I'm just going to swap it out for a different power supply because uh yeah it's late. I'm tired. <laughs> now I want to shoot this video real quick before I start tearing into this thing. So uh so yeah, Kimicon KZGs. That was uh. That was pff, one capacitor series from a other, from an otherwise reputable manufacturer that were just notorious for 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 failing. You can see again that one right there. It's just <laughs> it looks it looks awful. So so anyways, just figured I'd uh, shoot this little video real quick. So yeah, again. Kimicon KZG caps. Those were notorious for failure. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that's it for this video. But don't forget, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel. And also, don't forget to tick the bell so that way you'll get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back and thank you for your support.